Walls developed tools, we built a wall. All right, today we're going to be doing writing equations of lines. We've done a lot of this. We did it in Algebra 1, um, a whole chapter in Algebra 1. We did it again in Geometry, and now we're doing it again in uh, Algebra 2. T to not bore you so much, I'm going to try. I'm going to show you a new way to do some of it. So uh, let's take a look. So remember, we like slope-intercept form. The reason we like slope-intercept form, anybody know why? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller. We like it because this is the best way to graph. All right. So when we, when I say write an equation of a line, I want, I mean inherently put it in slope-intercept form. So I know how some of you are. You're big jokesters, and you're going to put it into some other form that's equivalent. That's fine. You can do that. But if it's not in slope-intercept form, even if it doesn't say it explicitly, it means put it in a slope-intercept form. All right. So when we do this in slope-intercept form, we're always looking for two things, a slope and an intercept. So let's start easy, all right? Two easy ones to start with. What's the equation of a line with slope 4? That's our m and y-intercept, negative 2. So y equals 4x minus 2. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I can't make it any easier than that. All right, what's the equation of the line graph? Let's see, what's our slope? up 3 over 4, so that's 3 over 4x. What's our intercept? Negative 2, so minus 2. All right, those two are just easy. All right, no problems whatsoever. Let's get them in where they're a little bit trickier. What happens if we're not given a y-intercept? Instead, we're just given a, you know, a point and a slope, and then we have a new, new, new form, and it's called point-slope form, all right? So the generic, the general formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And again, x1 and y1 is a given point. So I'll give you a slope and I'll give you a point and we're able to plug that into our equation. All right, let's try one. So what's the equation of the line that goes through 2, negative 5 with a slope of negative 2? So y minus y1, our y coordinate here is negative 5, equals m, our slope here is negative 2, times x minus x1, the x coordinate of the point is 2. All right, now, is that in slope-intercept form? Definitely not. I need to do some distribution. I need to get this to the other side. Now, one of the big things here is, these are always minus, so I'm doing the opposite. So when this is a negative 5, I really don't need to put y minus negative 5. I'm just going to put y plus 5, all right? And hopefully that's something you can recognize by now that you're a big, bad algebra 2. So distribute. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. All right, and again, to get the y by itself, I have to subtract 5 from both sides y equals negative 2x minus 1, all right? And that is our equation of a line in slope-intercept form of the, of the line that goes through 2, negative 5 with a slope of negative 2. All right, what if we're given parallel or perpendicular lines, all right? Well, let's see here. A couple reminders. We know that parallel, right? Parallel slopes are the same. In other words, m1 equals m2. So if I gave you a line and you knew the slope, it would be that line. And then for perpendicular, what's true? Um, if you have m1, it has to equal, or it's going to be the, ne the inverse, right? The negative reciprocal. We're going to put it over 1. So let's take a look at that. So what's the equation of a line? So we have an x and a y. And perpendicular line. So we have a slope. The slope here is negative 4. All right? If it's perpendicular, I have to have a negative reciprocal. So I'm going to flip 4 is 1 over 4. Was negative is now positive. So my slope is 1 fourth. And my point is negative 2, 3. I'm going to use that new form. y minus my y coordinate, 3 equals my slope, 1 fourth, times x minus my x coordinate, the opposite, negative 2, so I'm going to add 2 here. 
All right, I need to distribute this. So that's 1 fourth x. 1 fourth times 2 is 1 half. All right, so now I have y minus 3. I need to add 3 to both sides. So I have y equals 1 fourth x. 1 half plus 3 is 3 and a half, right? Well, let's, you know, if you don't like it like that, maybe you want to put it as an improper fraction, and that's 7 over 2. All right, and if this problem was, the, we could do the exact same problem. It was perpendicular. The only difference, the only thing I would change is instead of 1 fourth, I would use the exact slope given because it's parallel and lines that are parallel, brrr, same slope, right? All right, we've done that again for three straight years. All right, you kind of get the hint here right here at the beginning of Algebra 2. We're reviewing a lot of stuff you should already know, kind of ratcheting up a little bit, but stuff you should know how to do. All right, what if we're given only two points? All right, well, you know, to do point slope, we need one point. Well, here's a point, and we need a slope. Good thing I have two points. I can find my slope. If you don't remember the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I really hope you remember that. So let's find the slope here. 10 minus negative 2 over 2 minus 5. 10 minus negative 2, that's like 10 plus 2. That's 12 over negative 3. So our slope is going to be negative 4. All right, plug it into point slope formula. It doesn't matter which point we use, does it? Not really. So y minus negative 2, well, that's like y plus 2 equals our slope times x minus our x-coordinate, 5. All right, let's distribute. Negative 4x plus 20 equals y plus 2. Subtract 2 from both sides, and we get y equals negative 4x plus 18. All right, there we have it. All right, let's take a look here. Now, the boys go to the comic book store for Halloween. They have $24 to spend on comics, which cost $1.50 each, and candy bars, which cost $0.75 cents each. Write an equation for the situation. All right, now, word problems, a lot of times, you can come up with either a slope-intercept form or standard form. Remember, standard form is... AX plus BY equals C. And standard form is handy when you have two things and you're adding them together to come up with a total, much like this. So this would be $1.50 for our candy bars plus 75 cents for our, uh, excuse me, for our candy bars, $1.50 for our comic books, whoa. And it would equal, we have $24 total to spend. All right? That's our equation that we can, we're going to use. And I know, I know, I know, I just said, if I don't tell you, then write it in uh, slope-intercept form. But you need to understand the practice problems all are going to be slope-intercept form. Sometimes these application problems are just going to be nicer in standard form. That's one of the things that you need to kind of try to figure out which situation works best. All right, if they bought 12 candy bars, and the candy bars were Y, how many comics could they buy? Well, let's see. 150, we don't know how many comic books, plus 0 0.075 times, we know we have 12 of those, and equals 24. Awful 24. Uh, 75 times, 0.75 times 12, I believe that's 9. Subtract 9 to the other side, so we have $1.50x equals 15. Divide both sides by 150, and you should get 10 comic books. All right, there you have it. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. You uh, take a look at these two problems and try them out. Um, don't sell yourself short. It really does matter that you try them out here. All right? So go ahead, try those problems out right now. All right, let's take a look. What's the equation of the line that is parallel? Parallel means that the slope is the same, so negative 4 is our slope. Here's our x1, here's our y1. So let's plug it in. Uh, y 
minus 5 equals our slope, negative 4 times x minus our x coordinate, negative 3, so I'm going to just change it right now to plus 3. y minus 5 equals negative 4x minus 12. Add 5 to both sides. Negative 4x, negative 12 plus 5 is negative 7. All right. Down here, what's the equation line that goes through the points? 4, negative 1, 6, negative 7. Looks like we need to get a slope first here. So negative 7 minus negative 1, 6 minus 4. So this is really negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. Uh, it doesn't matter which point. I look at the points that are smaller. So y plus 1 equals... Uh, negative 3 times x minus 4. Remember, I'm writing plus 1, but this is y minus negative 1. Minus a negative is the same thing as plus a positive. All right? So y plus 1 equals negative 3x plus 12. Subtract 1. y equals negative 3x plus 11. All right? There you have it. So, uh, everyone has those days where you just aren't saying the right thing or you just sound like you're not very intelligent. And I think when you're around these boys, you'd always feel not very intelligent. So enjoy a clip from the Big Bang Theory. Have a good, uh, good luck on the match check, and I'll see you on the flip side.